What's up, Libra gang? Happy birthday. Happy Libra season to all my Libra friends out there. So happy to have you here today on my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. We are here to do your October monthly tarot spread. Um, as always, please keep in mind these are general messages. That means not everything I say will resonate with all my Libras out there. This is meant to be fun and helpful, so please, please, please only take away messages that um, you feel are for your best and highest good. And Libra, you will know intuitively what those are. If something doesn't seem to resonate or fit your scenario, you can release it. You can drop it and push it aside. It's not for you. Uh, that being said, I welcome you to come into this with an open heart and an open mind. Sometimes messages will resonate for you days, weeks, even months later. And if it does, that's fantastic. Um, it's not always about the messages clicking for you here in this very moment now. Uh, sometimes it's good to sit on the information and see if it resonates for you in the future, right? Um, that being said, I hope this is fun. I hope this is helpful to you. That is my intention here today. Um, everything you're going to want to know about this video will be in the description box below, including the decks I'm using today, as well as my social media channels. Check me out on the Intuitive Teacup on Facebook and Instagram. Love my Libra squad. So happy to have you guys. My mommy's a Libra. So let's see what we can get for October. I'm using Halloween tarot, which seemed appropriate. All right, so I am reading this as beginning, middle, and end of month, but again, take what resonates for you. Um, if it's not your timeline, then hey, take whatever, take whatever seems to fit and run with it. Okay, so you are starting off with a little bit of conflict. You have the five of uh, wands, five of imps in this Halloween deck, <clears throat> an obstacle, and then a blockage, uh, nine of wands, and then a major transformation, okay, the death card. So Scorpio, I like to see that. Uh, we're headed into Scorpio season right after you. And yeah, something about that around, um, yeah, just around this time, it, 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 it makes sense. The, the death card has been coming up a lot. Major transformations. It's like we're on the brink of major transformations, but we're not quite year, there yet. Something about struggling to get to the finish line here is what's coming up. Uh, now with the five of wands, it can sometimes be an internal conflict, something we're grappling with, something we're fighting with. I actually just said the same thing to Scorpio in the last video. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio um, because they actually did have a couple of your cards come up in the, in the swords realm, swords element, I should say. Trying to get past something or trying to slide through or dance around something, some sort of obstacle that has been presented um, something that has caused you to pause or yield that you're, you're trying to get through. And especially in a group dynamic, it's like you're around people who, like, they don't know their ass from their elbow. If you were to ask, the, like, these people for directions, if you, you know, if you, like, you needed guidance, they, I don't know, I'm just kind of getting, they're just kind of like, the people. They're not bad people, they just seem, I hate to say incompetent. This might be people you work with, potentially. This is almost about following your own uh, light. I'm, I'm sort of getting hermit mode from this. Like the answers you seek are, come from within. Um, it, yeah. Something about like a, like a spiritual awakening to welcome this major change and transformation. Yeah, I think a lot of you, it's like you've hit a roadblock and, and you're kind of frustrated and you don't, you don't necessarily see a clear path or direction out. And again, if you're seeking guidance from those around, like nobody knows their ass from their elbow, so you're just kind of like stuck. Let's throw some clarifiers on it. <clears throat> what you don't realize, though, is that I don't know if this is you or representing those around you, your environment. You're on the brink of major changes. Seeds that you may have planted ages ago, it's like they're about to pop. And it may come at a time that surprises you, something that you saw as a dead end or as closed out, completed, again, blocked off. Something there might give. There, there might be some sort of break. Might be dealing with a Capricorn. Interesting. So another card of Scorpio, Six of Cups. Making peace with the past. Okay, so yes, something about the seeds that you planted in the past with this like pentacle energy. Um, <clears throat> you didn't think it was going to come to fruition or blossom. 
I think something is going to come about, a major transition with this death card, that it's closing out of an old cycle and welcoming in a new one. While in the past you may have been frustrated or disappointment, you're able to make peace with it and move on. And that allows like the gates to open again. Um, what was otherwise blocked off or like truncated or tr like trumping or something, it allows you to like gracefully walk through and ascend and rise. There may be some like ascension process in terms of like your spiritual path. Um, also making peace with people in your past, specifically your family, and as well as forgiving yourself for past mistakes. Actions you may have taken or words you may have said in anger or haste or frustration That may have actually been the cause of why you weren't able to move ahead the way you wanted to that may have blocked or put like a blockage in a relationship It didn't allow like love to flow for communication to go back and forth Something about this is being revived or fixed again transitioning from death releasing what isn't serving us particularly relationships and then welcoming in, in new, um, new adventures, really. Uh, going on new journeys, new realms. And making peace with the past is important here. I'm going to throw one of these on it. What is this? Um, I kind of want to. What is this five of wands about? You may be in competition with people at work or work in some sort of environment that feels very cutthroat and savage. And something about like your spirit guides are, are the ones that you should listen to or like metaphorically ask for direction. It's not gonna come from your coworkers or even maybe from your family. It, it's more of like a spiritual seeing signs and symbolisms, numerology. That's like the, the um, the trail of breadcrumbs that you need to be following. <clears throat> if you have fighting for attention, fighting to be seen, fighting to have your voice heard, feeling like you're a servant to other people, it's almost like it's your time to shine is coming. Yeah, love is restored. Peace and love is restored. <clears throat> For those who feel like they're constantly being pushed aside and that, <clears throat> again, you're not being valued or promoted given the attention and recognition you deserve. When you choose to vibe high, that's when the universe is going to like bestow a gift upon you. Uh, when you raise your vibration, despite the conflict with people you may not like or have difficulties with, when internally you're at peace, that, that's like when Cupid's arrow strikes and it's allowing something that you, the seeds you've planted, it allows them to grow and blossom with love, with um, like fertility, uh, long-term potential and success. Major Scorpio vibes as well as fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, I don't know if that means anything to my Libras out there. So that's sort of what's going on beginning of the month. Interesting. <clears throat> so middle of the month, you're releasing those burdens. You're no longer keeping sour people in your energy. Um, <clears throat> people who you feel like are making a mockery of the situation or, or you making your life more difficult. I'm just getting the idea. I don't know if some of you are teachers, the idea of trying to like rally a group together, like collect everybody like, okay, now we're all going to go here. There's always that one person that's like, I don't want to go. I'm going to be difficult just to be difficult. That's what I'm getting here. There's one person in particular that's like the bane of your existence. Uh, someone who's causing you great frustration. What I'm getting here, this is really important. Spirit knows. Spirit sees this, and it's almost like a test of your patience and your ability, again, to make peace with the past or with people that they just kind of push your buttons. Don't take the bait. That's so important here. 
There's something about you wanting to put them in your place or point the finger at them. This is saying don't. Be the bigger person. Keep going down your spiritual path. Keep following a path to love. Um, because something about following your heart's true calling or desire, it's, it's beating the devil. It's beating um, the darker energy that's trying to suck you down, the bottom feeders that are like, you know, prodding at you and trying to, I don't know if it's trying to make you look bad or again, make a mockery of the situation. It's like, you don't have time for them. You're with Knight of Cups coming up, it's like you're on your path towards towards the love of your life, whether that's a person or a career or whatever. It's like there's this one that stands out and you're giving them the ugly eye, but it, like it's a it's a it's a trap. They're trying to get you, they're trying to get a rise out of you. They're trying to get you to like lean over and pick them up so that you drop all the other ones. Something about all the hard work and endeavors that you've accomplished, they're like the undoing. They're trying so hard to like make you look bad or take the spotlight, take the spotlight off of you to, to make themselves look better. This is like, don't give them the satisfaction. Keep going towards wherever it is you're wanting to go, Libra, what your heart is calling you to do. <clears throat> because your time to shine is coming. It's going to be your turn to be in the spotlight. So this is almost saying to me, make sure that you have a, a clean record. Something about with the Queen of Wands, I, I mean, I'm hearing the term celebrity. I don't know if that's literal or the idea of you being in the spotlight. If, if you're trying to start a business or, I don't know, something about just all eyes on you, very magnetic, charismatic, kind of like flirty life of the party, which a Libra can have that in them sometimes. Um, that opens you up to a wide variety of people coming at you with um, both joy and appreciation and loyalty and fascination, but it also attracts devil energy. It, it also attracts bottom feeders who, again, it's like, they're trying to get a rise at you. It's like the minute you get recognized in the workplace and you know your boss is going on about you and, and presenting you with employee of the month or whatever it is, they're that one person who's gonna be like, it's like they're gonna call you out on some minor thing because they're trying to take the spotlight off of you. It's like they're, they're needling you. It's really annoying. I don't like this person, <laughs> whoever they are. It's super annoying. What's coming through here though is, and that was just a circumstance or scenario. I was trying to throw out like examples, but it's something about you rise above. You don't have the time of day to fight this person anymore, to constantly feel like you're in competition or having to prove your, your self-worth or your capabilities. I absolutely see that, like proving your strength and endurance. Ultimately, you have to believe in karmic justice here because as I was saying, spirit knows. Spirit is watching what's going on and you will be rewarded and recognized either by you know the people in your life or spiritually when you choose to vibe high. When the devil comes at you, metaphorically this person, this lower vibing energy, and you choose instead to present them with a sunflower, here, have this. I hope you have a great day today. They will be taken aback. They won't know what to do with it. This is asking you to rise above, to be the bigger person. You don't have to go out of your way to be nice to them, but don't fight fire with fire. I think that's what was happening either in your past or potentially at the beginning of the month. Fighting fire with fire leads to obstacles. You're not gonna be able to bust through and achieve that ascension the way you want to. Again, when you choose to make peace, when you choose love, like Cupid, to spread love all around despite Despite the people who you may not particularly like, despite the people who treat you like a servant, like a like lower class, like less than, you don't need to give them the time of day. And in the opportunities where you do have to interact with them, move forward with love. Knight of Cups, offer them that sunflower, right? As much as you may want to say something nasty, right? Queen of Wands can have, can have some attitude. She can have a little bit of fire and, and gusto behind her. Um, the ability, like, or um, the tendency to pop off when she's angry is the saying, don't. Don't fight fire with fire. Fight, fight fire with water, with love, with cups. Because you know what's going to extinguish that fire, that 
uh, um, nasty energy, that temper, it's like you're going to simmer it out by pouring your cup of love on it. Just like, nope. Like you can hear the fire going out. You will catch this person off guard. They, they like won't even know what to do with it because maybe they're, I do get sort of jealousy vibes, like mean girl vibes off of this a little bit. And the queen of wands can be that as well. So Libra, don't, don't be a lower vibrational queen of wands, right? Queen of wands is a badass. She's the witch of the deck, right? She has a magic wand. She's magnetic. She's beautiful. She's charismatic. She attracts a lot of attention. People don't always like that, right? Especially in a career where it's it's cutthroat, it's fighting to make the, the highest amount of sales or this or that. People throwing others under, under the bus. This is saying that the people you work with are very stubborn. Something about they stand firm in their beliefs and there's no flexibility or wiggle room. Every man for himself is what I'm getting here. You're the one that stands out because you're not that. That you do have a heart. And, and also... Something about this, you're in an environment where it's not your like forever home. You're in like a temp landing zone because you dream of bigger things. You're ready for some major change and transition in your life. Like you're ready to start the new chapter to like wave goodbye to the old life and like hello, hello, new beginnings. I think that's what you want, but there's like a final test here to go out peacefully, to go out with like a swan song of sorts before you can ascend and escalate to the next level. Something about travel swiftly to the next uh, venture, the next endeavor, whatever that is. You are closing out a cycle with the 10. It's like, don't fall for the tricks, only the treats. <laughs> Move forward with love, be a high vibing queen. There, there may be a temptation with the devil to, to play, play at their level, to, again, be very, like, bickery and mean girl energy. Don't. It's not worth it. And, again, spirit is watching you. This is all a test. This is all a test. Spirit is seeing not only how you react to these difficult people, but also how they react to you, too, right? There is something about karma here. And it doesn't rest in you, in you teaching that other person karma other than it's like when they come at you with fire, offer your cup of love. Because ultimately, who's going to win that match? Is fire going to conquer water? Probably not. Love, cups, water, that's going to fight that fire, that temper, that jealousy, that argument, uh, or that argumentative person. <clears throat> They're annoying. There's somebody in your life who's annoying and nagging. Tell me about this 10 of imps. What, what, what about this person? What is the deal there? What can we tell Libra that's going to be helpful to them? When you vibe high and they see you going after what you love and not paying attention to them really, they're going to back off. You're in some sort of situation where they feel threatened by you, like you're their competition. <clears throat> but it's like once you extend the flower, make a peace offering, they're going to back off because it's like they realize that there's no battle to be won. There's no battle to be had with you. You're not trying to impede their spiritual path, and so they have no reason to do that to you. I did just hear I'm ready to get the hell out of here. So some of you may be leaving a job. Potentially to go into some sort of business in, in entertainment, the arts, something with creativity. So that's what's coming up for your person. Yeah, they're like a drama queen. They like to gossip. Um, they may feel like they don't have a... They may feel like they don't have a, a soul tribe, like they don't have a, a solid foundation or group of friends or family that has their back. And so the way they engage with other people is by, hey guys, did you hear about this? Because they know that that sucks people in and it's how they get attention. They need, they feel, it makes them feel good to be part of a group, but they don't do it in a way that comes from love. They do it in a way that comes from fear or hatred or gossip. And maybe they grew up in an environment where that's all they knew. So that has been their MO most of their life. 
And actually, this is really powerful, Libra. You have you have an ability to change that in them. When this person is talking shit and spreading gossip, <coughs> again, by coming at them with that sunflower, right? Whatever that means to you. That might be significant, a sunflower. I don't know if that's like the logo of the business you're at or I don't know. Something about a sunflower is important there. A song. Anyway, um, when you rise above and choose to make peace with them, a peace offering, it, it's, it's going to like totally F with their head. They're not going to know what to do with it because it's like, you guys, I'm just getting her like sworn enemies. Because you're both going in the same direction. You maybe want the same thing or the same job title or the same promotion or there's competition here. And naturally, that's going to yield a bit of jealousy, right? Um, or shit talking. That's really what this is. That's the only way this person attracts people to their tribe. Why would you even want to vibe with that or, or even consider that person in your life, in your energy space, right? I'm not saying go out of your way to in include this person in any sort of like major thing that you're, you're involved in. But ultimately, if they're in your surroundings and you have to deal with them, I'm, I'm just going to be like, offer the sunflower. It's metaphoric, whatever that means to you. Don't fight fire with fire. So end of the month, chariot. I love that. Forward movement, a card of victory. So some of you who are, who are in the thick of a competition and a battle, trying to fight for something, trying to achieve something, you're closing out the burdens. You're closing out the cycle. You're welcoming death, that transformation, you know, releasing what isn't serving you. Then you start going places. You're, a lot of you are holding on to resentment or emotional baggage that is keeping you trapped in the past. If you're able to make peace with it and vibe high, again, queen of wands, vibing high, being charismatic, and work hard, play hard, that's when you're going to start going places. Cancerian energy with the chariot here. <coughs> Balancing your own dark and light. Fire and water, opposites, right? And that's what this is too. It's making an otherwise awkward dynamic work. It's making some sort of frustrating partnership or a relationship work, at least for the time being. <coughs> Sorry guys, okay. So here's what's important here. I know some of you, I feel it, despise this person or people, it could be a group. And so with this card, it is saying, you guys need to work together. There needs to be some sort of collaboration here because ultimately, this is important guys, if you make this work in harmony, if you come at it with love and peace, eventually you will be able to sever it off. Page of, it's this page of swords. Eventually there will be a moment where that, that middle tie that, that combines the two, that collaboration, snip, snip. You're gonna get to cut it. You will not need to work with this person, potentially this juggling, these obstacles, the, these burdens. You're not going to need to constantly be going back and forth with this person that much longer. You are going to be able to cut and release it, but once you've mastered the skill of making it work, that's when it's time to go off in your chariot. That's when it's like you, you, there's victory there. There is something about this, about learning how to deal with difficult relationships, finding the balance. And for you, Libra, that's important anyway in your everyday life. You know, you, you are the scales. It's like spirit or something higher is asking you to be the bigger person. Maybe that is karmic justice for this person. Um, we always look at our lives and think, my spiritual path, my this, my that. What if you were being sent to this person in their life to teach them justice about as much hate as you're going to throw at Libra, they're going to shower you back with love. As much fire and conflict and, and jealousy and low vibing energy, they're just going to hit you back with high vibes and love because you're not worth it. You're not worth like the, the drama and the chaos anymore. Again, when you hit them with that love that maybe they never received in their own childhood, right? Maybe they're envious of you because you are the queen of wands, because everybody loves you, Libra. Everybody thinks you're great. Everybody thinks you're swell. This person doesn't like it. 
And maybe it's because no one ever loved them. Maybe you're in their life for a reason to show them that you're the Knight of Cups. Everywhere you go, you spread a damn rainbow of sunshine and happiness, right? So instead of seeing this person as a, a, a energy vampire, as a, a time suck, an energy suck, what if you saw them as an opportunity to give love? What if you saw them as an opportunity to test yourself to, again, not overgive. You're, you're a queen, right? You, you've learned the skill. Not overgive, but shower love wherever you go. I'm not saying hang out with them, but if they happen to be in your past, right? Or I'm sorry, in your path with a TH, why, why, if as, I'm just getting like Knight of Cups, like almost like a, a flower girl at a wedding, just spreading flowers. If you're spreading love, right? And you're going about your day doing that, then that person comes into your circle. It's like, you, you do this. What if you didn't even pay them mind and you continue to be like, good morning, Barbara. Good morning, Sue. You know, good morning, Emily. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, you know, Carlos, whatever. As, as you're going through the day. Don't stop giving love because of this person. If you make it work in harmis, harmony, if you collaborate as much as much as you need to with this person, um, if you smooth out the rocky waves or emotions between the group dynamic or between the two of you, again, eventually there's going to be some sort of thought or epiphany where this person backs down or backs off. And also you come to some sort of epiphany that you're ready to move on. Maybe this represents that victory, whatever you're in competition for or fighting for, maybe it comes through for you. Maybe that, you know, that chauffeur comes to, to pick you up and be like, come on, Libra, here we go. We're going for it now. Like, it's your time to shine. What is this page of bats about? Okay, so something about this, I'm getting like trying to one-up you or get information on you. This is important, though. That was the old version of them, of your person, this icky person. It's something like when you vibe high and are kind to them, they back off. They have no interest in you anymore. They're done trying to, um, to get inside your mind, page of swords, spy energy, uh, you know, get insider information on your plans and your goals. It's like you guys are headed in different directions. Or sorry, is this? Yeah. Is that right? I'm trying to show you how I'm, how I'm seeing it. Okay. You're not even on the same level as this person. If you're a knight, they're a page. They're immature. They're immature. Don't pay them any mind. You guys are headed in opposite directions. When you make some sort of kind gesture or, I don't even wanna to say token of appreciation, but again, symbolically the sunflower, they're gonna back off. They, they're gonna lose interest in studying your every move because they see that it's like, you have other opportunities. You may have two new opportunities coming into you yeah, some, two things that you, like seeds you had planted in the past, it's like they spring up from the ground. And I'm almost getting that that happens again when, when you extend love, when you beat the devil, when you fight fear and hate with love, when you choose to vibe high. That's when your chariot takes off. Balancing the dark and light energy, there's always going to be people in life that you don't like, that you don't want to work with. <clears throat> Let's clarify the chariot. That's more fun to me. What do we need to know about this victory, this forward movement, this progression? You're on to bigger and better things. That's what I see at the end of October. Bigger and better things. Yeah, money. Nine of Pentacles. Um, the self-made man, the self-made woman. You can be proud of your accomplishments and your forward movement because you did it yourself. And you didn't have to, oh, okay, guys, you didn't have to fight dirty to do it. You did it with love and peace and harmony. That's what this is saying to me. Um, you may have strong Virgo in your chart. I, I like this Nine of Pentacles for you. It Yeah, it feels very lovely and, and just peaceful, right? Very peaceful. <clears throat> and, and you're coming from a road that was a little bit dark. I sense that there was a lot of challenge and frustration. Hang in there. Choose to be the bigger person. One card for Libra, thank you. Darkest fears. Yeah, don't put this person on a pedestal of impeding your ability to succeed. 
I feel like this is your subconscious coming through. You think that this person is out to get you and they are going to ruin your ability to achieve your all your dreams and desires. They are a blip on the radar. They are a blip on the screen. And while it seems huge now, while it seems like you're just killing yourself to, to get past this struggle, these obstacles, it's fleeting. The opposite of fear is love. We were saying that, right? Fight fear, your own fear, as well as this person's fear and again, jealousy of you with love, with higher vibes. When they come at you with a side comment, offer them a flower, symbolically, right? All right, Libra, that's what I got for you. Interesting read, interesting read. October is going to have a little bit of struggle and challenge. It's all about how you deal with it because ultimately it's headed in a good direction. If you choose to vibe high, these are fantastic cards. I love these cards. All right, that's what I got. Um, please do like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what resonated for you. Happy birthday, Libra. And I will see you very soon for more tarot videos. Bye.